Hi and welcome. So last night we had that beautiful solstice energy and now we are going in to this beautiful full moon energy of June and I want to do a reading. I want to do a reading for where is this taking divine feminine and, and what is coming up? What is being revealed? You know, as we step into this new beautiful powerful solstice, the light frequency energy. So the first question I asked is, what is the full moon telling us? What is the solstice t um, telling us? What is the message for you today, Divine Feminine? And two cards came flying out. They came out together. So I decided, of course, to do it in twos. Um, the, the first card that came out was Ride the Waves. The less um, life lessons and growth, you will get through this. So this is for anybody who is feeling really stuck at the moment, feeling that everything is against them, feeling like nothing is working out, feeling confused, feeling stuck, just feeling that rawness energy where I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I, I'm I'm stuck. I feel broken. Where? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? And I want you to know it is about riding the wave, riding the waves of life. You know, when we start to self-master, one of the things we are self-mastering are those waves of life. The next card is you know, into the unknown, the underworld, the depth, the courage, facing fears. This is what is coming through and it is coming through really, really strong at the moment. Facing those fears. We know on the journey, the twin flame journey, we know on the awakening journey, whichever one that you are on, all your fears, all your shadow aspects will be brought to the forefront. Why? Because those keep you in the lower vibrations. Those stop you from really excelling. Those stop you from being that shining light, from being that light worker. So you will, you will feel like you're being dragged into, you know, that dark hole, that black hole of not knowing what to do. And all your fears are coming up. And, you know, how do you move forward? How do you face all that? Everything will come forward so you can heal it. So what is this moon telling us? What is this solstice telling us? What is it telling you, Divine Feminine? Everything is coming up right now. You are going to feel in a bit of a void. You are going to feel a little bit stuck. But it is coming up so you, so you can heal it. Okay, the next, the next area I want to work on is what are you not seeing? What are you not seeing, Divine Feminine? Okay, so two cards. The first one is the Lady of the Lake. Look at that card. That is so powerful. New beginnings. Something is about to happen. So remember, on this journey, when you are activated on this journey, everything happens energetically before it comes into the 3D. And that is the universal law. Everything always happens. And that's why sometimes you can feel like, I feel stuck, but I know something is about to happen. The reason why is because it is. What you need to do, Divine Feminine, is keep that open heart, is keep that energy open and in flow. The next one is the sirens. Use your voice, expansion and freedom. And, you know, sometimes we think about using our voice. OK, I need to speak my truth more. But actually, it is first about speaking truth to self. What do you want? What are you manifesting? Remember, when we start to manifest, when we start to create, and on this journey, you are the creator. Once you are activated into that beautiful ancient codes and the life frequency that you hold divine feminine, because you are now on a deep transformation, you are on a rebirth. You can manifest anything that you wish and desire 
into your life. I always giggle because my mum always used to say, be careful what you wish for. I don't know if it was a Yorkshire expression or we said it around the world, who knows? But she always used to say, be careful, cat, what you wish for. And now I understand why. Because on this journey, whatever your desire, you can create and you will create. Because whatever you put your energy into and your frequency, you will magnetize in. So remember, everything you are not sometimes seeing what is already being created, but it happens energetically before it comes down here into form, before it comes down into the 3D. Okay, the next cards are, where is your direction, Divine Feminine? Where is your direction? Beneath the surface, what's really driving you, true motivates, breaking free. Be breaking free. I really want to focus on that breaking free. You know, what? Wh where is your direction? Sometimes we put our own obstacles up of, I can't do this because of X. I can't create a business because I don't have any money or I have to work a, a full-time job. You can create a business. You can create. We have never been in such incredible, abundant energy. You know, when I first started many, many years ago to share out that, you know, I was there to help, we had to spend a lot of time and effort on yellow pages, on all those other sites. Now, you can share your message in a click of a button. Within three seconds, your message can go across the whole world and back again. We have never been in such incredible energy. So where is your direction? Breaking free, breaking free from our own bounds. That is what I'm being shown. Divine Feminine, sometimes you bind yourself, but you bind it with silk. You bind it with, I'm being shown almost like toilet roll, you know, if you wrap just one layer of toilet roll, you can break it free. It, it, it snaps, it breaks. You know, it just tears away. It dissipates. You put your hands in water with toilet roll around. It's just going to dissipate away. Where are you? Where are you keeping yourself bound from really moving forward, from really stepping forward? The next card is, I love this card. Let me show you the card before I even read it. The Plunge plunge don't hold back it's time go for it dive in wow how fitting is that where is the direction do you need a clearer message than that don't hold back it's time go for it dive in now 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 what are you wanting to create divine feminine what are you wanting in your life now is the time not tomorrow not next week not next Thursday. Now is the time. Now is the time to take the step. And what I want to say here is often we get overwhelmed. I don't know how to create it. I don't know. I don't have the skills for that. It takes one small step every single day to create something so beautiful. One small step every single day to create something really beautiful. I also want to just connect in now um, for you to know that you are whole, you are complete, you are love. And in Awaken to Consciousness, in the detox call this week, we delve deep into you are the whole damn chocolate cake with icing, with sprinkles, with cherries. Know your worth, know your sovereignty, divine feminine. You are not activated on this journey by mistake. You are activated on this journey to create, to be the new vibration, the new vibration for the new earth. New Earth is not something that we're going to on spaceships and we're going to arrive there. New Earth is already here. It's when you change your vibration, do you see the whole new Earth in front of you? You will hear the birds louder. You will see the sun brighter. 
You will hear the whispers of the trees in ways that you have never heard the whispers of the trees. You will understand the universe in ways that you never thought you would understand the universe. At the level of Einstein, you will paint as Van Gogh painted. This journey is a journey beyond the mind. Okay, so the last two cards, let's dive into them. And this is about, you know, where are you be where are you going? What is coming up for you? You know, what what delicious things are being served to you by the universe? And it really is about once you've opened your heart, once you've allowed it to flow free, this is what is coming in. So let's bring it forward. The sweet waters. Romance, enjoyment, fertility and balance. This is all coming forward for you. Romance, sensuality, enjoyment, you know, being in that really beautiful energy where every day is a gift. And that's why we always talk about on the path of enlightenment about being in gratitude but gratitude for the most simplest of things, sitting there and just being in that vibration of love. Because with that brings in more of it. The universe keeps on delivering. The last card comes through as clear waters. Clear vision, confirmation, right timing, opportunity. Everything is coming forward for you. You are coming into that clear vision where you see the whole journey, where you know the whole journey, where you go, aha, this is why all this happened, because we are now in the right time and every opportunity is coming forward to you. But, Divine Feminine, can you stay in the open heart? Can you take a step each day? Can you um, move over those obstacles and not see it as a place of being stuck, but actually as a place of, this is soul school. You have come down onto this earth, not by mistake, not by chance, but because you, your soul knew that you were ready, but also your soul holds a, a unique essence. Your soul holds a unique signature. Your soul holds a unique vibration and your soul is needed at this time. All those points are part, are part of the bigger collective. As we shift into this whole different vibration here on earth. Divine Feminine, there has never been a better time and the time is now. I hope this helps. Um, this is an incredible time to be here on earth and we are in solstice energy where it is about bringing in the light, celebrating the light and celebrating the light in you. I want you to know that you are whole, you are complete, you are not broken. You are whole and complete and you are love. You are love. I send you so much love. Have a beautiful, blessed day. If you need more help and support, my website's there. I send you much love. Many blessings.